we know that all around us, there's a multitude of life forms about which we know essentially nothing. One approach to beginning to explore these organisms is to obtain their blueprint. In other words, their genome. We first conceived and deployed this approach to study much more simple communities than we're studying here today at Rifle. These communities were dominated by just a few organisms, which made them very tractable for this approach. The organisms formed microbial communities in very acidic environments, where they are now understood to play critical roles in environmental acidification and the release of toxic metals into groundwater. It took almost another decade before we could show that these methods could in fact be scaled to more complex systems. To apply the methods to the subsurface required that we had two things. First, good samples of the subsurface from which sufficient quantities of high quality DNA could be obtained. And second, it took a great deal of sequencing and this required the services of the Joint Genome Institute. We obtained massive amounts of sequence information that were then analyzed using newly developed bioinformatic approaches to reconstruct the genomes of the organisms that exist in the subsurface. This approach yielded information about branches of the tree of life we had no idea existed at all prior to this study. It also allowed us to provide new information about how functions and capacities were associated with organisms that were on branches of the tree of life that we knew nothing about, but that they existed. In research funded by the Department of Energy and conducted at the Joint Genome Institute, DNA from sediment samples is being extracted and sequenced. The scale of sequencing is very large, trillions of base pairs of sequence information. We are recovering millions of genes. To put this into context, the human genome contains about 20,000 genes. While the human genome effort took a decade or longer, we are developing methods that make it possible to obtain that same information on the weeks to months timescale. One of the most surprising and important findings from this work was that many of the organisms that live in the subsurface have approximately 50% of genes for which there is no known function. Although it will take many years of research to bring this to fruition, it seems very probable that these genes and pathways will provide new methods and, and approaches that can be deployed in areas such as bioremediation, biotechnology, bioenergy production, medicine and agriculture.